Evaluate 3 and 1 half minus x when x is equal to 5 and x is equal to negative 5. So let's start with the situation where x is equal to 5. Then this expression becomes, it becomes, let me do it, so 3 and 1 half minus, and instead of writing an x there, we know that x is equal to 5, so I'll put a 5 right over here. Now let's think about it on the number line. So let me draw. A number line. I can do a straighter number line than that. So that's my number line. Right there is 0, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 and a half sits right in between 3 and 4. So 3 and a half is right over there. 3 and a half. And I'm going to subtract 5. And before I do that, let me draw some spaces below 0, because this is obviously a larger number than that. So we're going to drop below 0. We're 3 and a half to the right, and we're going to go 5 to the left. So we're going to end up to the left of 0. So let me do negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. So we're going to move 5 over to the left. So let's move 1 to the left, 2 to the left. Let me do that in another color. So 1 to the left, 2 to the left. 3 to the left, 4 to the left, 5 to the left brings us right there. When we just look at it, when you just look at it visually, you get to you get to negative 1 and a half. So this is negative 1 and a half, which will be the right answer. But let's think about it a, a little more to think about how to come up with it mathematically instead of having to draw the number line. So 3 and a half, it's literally 3 and a half to the right of 0. Its absolute value is 3 and a half, and of course it's a positive number. So this, the length, this distance right here, is the absolute value of 3 and 1 half. That length right over there. Then we are subtracting 5 from that. So we're going to move 5 to the left from this point over here. So we're going to move 5 to the left from that point over there. Let me draw an arrow here, just so we went 5 to the left. So the length of this magenta part is 5. That is 5. So the number, the absolute value of the number that we care about is going to be this difference over here. The absolute value of the number we care about is going to be this number right over here. Which is really, if you just think about its absolute value, it's just the difference between 5 and 3 and 1 half. But since we are subtracting the larger number, it's going to be negative. And so if you were to just, so you can literally view this. You can say that this is the same thing as the negative of. And we know it's going to be a negative number because we were subtracting a larger number from a smaller number. It's the negative of. It's the negative of. You take the larger number, 5 minus 3 and 1 half. 5 minus 3 and 1 half. And there's multiple ways you can do this. You could, do, you could probably do this in your head. If it was 5 minus 3, you would get 2. But if you're, if you're you have to subtract 3, and then you have to subtract another half. So you would get to 2, and then subtract another half, you would get to 1 and 1 half. So 5 minus 3 and 1 half is 1 and 1 half. Stick the negative out front, negative 1 and 1 half. Let's do the second part. x is equal to negative 5. x is equal to negative 5. Then this expression up here becomes 3 and 1 half minus, and instead of x, we have a negative 5 minus negative 5. In a lot of ways, this is easier. And this is kind of just something that hopefully you'll start, uh, it'll almost be a knee-jerk reaction. If you subtract a negative number, that is the exact same thing as adding the number. You, these are uh, addition and subtraction are inverse operations. Subtracting a negative number is the same thing as adding it. So let me put it this way. Subtracting a negative is the same thing. This is equal to 3 and 1 half. Plus, you can view as these negatives canceling out, plus 5. 3 and 1 half plus 5. And this is pretty straightforward. We don't even have to draw a number line here. 3 and 1 half plus 5, you could view this, well, that's just going to be 8 and 1 half. We just added the whole number part, so I didn't even have to write it as improper fraction. It's 8 and 1 half. Anyway, hopefully you found that helpful.